Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, just for fun, I've wanted to do this for a while. Pretty simple, I wanted to make a supercapacitor-based taser uh, prototype. This is one of my uh, dual capacitor charger modules. It's for uh, supercapacitor flashlight charges, those two capacitors. Uh, these happen to be 50 farads at 2.5 volts, so the bank is 5.4 volts at 25 farads. Not a ton of power, but should be enough for this. Uh, when that when it's done charging, it's charging right now, that LED will flash, the relay will disengage, and then this part of the entire circuit will completely be disengaged from the capacitors. At which point I press that button, and this uh, step-up transformer, 5 volts to th roughly 30 kilovolts, should arc across the secondary terminals of that transformer. So, the uh, this should stop charging any minute. From, from a flat capacitor bank, this should take certainly less than 5 minutes to fully charge. Uh, when it is done charging, you'll hear the relay click, and that LED will flash until you disengage power. And I've got a 9-volt, uh, one, uh, 1 amp power supply uh, connected to it. So let's just wait uh, for this to stop charging, then we'll see if we can get some arcing out of, uh, out of this transformer based on the power stored in the 25-volt bank. We are charging to roughly 5.3 volts. So, I'll fast forward. So now it's charged. And so what I'll do is I'll unplug it. Please do keep in mind that this isn't exactly the safest thing to do. So I'll press the button. I'm not going to keep the, the taser on for more than 3 or 4 seconds at a time. So, <laughs> I think that's pretty neat. What I'm going to do is I'll see how much we've lost off the small capacitor bank that we have. Obviously, you can use larger capacitors. I'm looking at my multimeter over here. We've only lost about 80 mil 800 millivolts. So right now it's at uh, roughly 4.4 milli 4 .4 volts. So I can get a fair amount of use out of this. It's not running at optimal power now. Uh, but it will still arc at around 30,000 volts, and that's enough to give someone a hell of a sting, uh, knock somebody down probably. Um, but again, it would never use this on somebody. If I were to make this into a module, the flashlight charger, the supercapacitor flashlight charger, has four mounting holes. The capacitors I would solder to wires and mount them likely underneath. The uh, the uh, high voltage transformer I would mount elsewhere, and I'd make this into a project box and put this button on the outside. I can actually see this. The EMI coming off this is actually um, not doing well with my camera. My camera is actually looking in the viewfinder. It's messing with it, which is pretty neat. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that off to you guys. I uh, hope you found it interesting. It took me about five minutes to put together because I already had the capacitor charger made, and this is a standalone module, just a button and uh, two supercapacitors. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone.